morning folks it's a nice brisk winter morning here in Hamilton New Zealand it's about six degrees Celsius outside just thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown on our new Mazda MPV this is the turbocharged 2.3 litre petrol engine um, I understand it's the same motor that the Mazda MPS has got in it uh, rated at 180 kilowatts and 350 newton meters of torque at 2500 rpm um, the only difference externally is apparently these ones have got 18 inch rims on them and the um, naturally aspirated ones are 17 inch rims. So just stuck around and show you under the hood. And you can see on the top there, that's the 2.3 litre MZR turbocharged engine. Um, these are rated actually as an 8 seater. Um, two in the front obviously. Quick look at the dashboard. We will go for a quick drive in it later. Just show you the interior. We have had the stereo changed in it because this was a Japanese imported vehicle. All the menus were in Japanese, so we've changed it to a Pioneer head deck, and it's all in uh, English now, with the reversing camera all connected up as well. On the inside of it, we've got uh, we've got our grandson little child seat in the back there. But these two seats do push together. You can actually make this into a bench seat and sit three ch children on it. And then you've got space for three in the back there as well. So in actual fact, possible seating for eight, but comfortably really seven. Just to show you what it looks like from the uh, this side of it. Just looking down the vehicle from the, ins from the, the rear tailgate. Um, they don't have a spare tire, but they have this huge big well underneath the back here for storage space but they supply you with uh, like a gas canister which is supposed to inflate your flat tire within it seals it until you can get it repaired all right what we also have on the remote um, well, you can see it but I can actually open the side doors hang on I've got it locked at the moment I think I've turned the power off on it this minute Okay, so what we do have is electric doors on these cars. You give that a quick pull, and the side panel doors just open. They can also be controlled off the dashboard. There's uh, switches on the dashboard there for, op for opening and shutting the doors. And if you're in the back of the car, there's actually a quick button on the side there. You can open and shut them from there as well. Um, I think the battery in my remote's going flat, so I tried to demonstrate it with that and it didn't work, so um, it has worked in the past, but I think my, I need, might need a new battery. Um, filler cap is on the left hand side of the vehicle, um, but externally it doesn't look much different from the um, naturally aspirated version. Um, it's got the twin exhaust out the back, but I think they even have them as well, and the spoiler on the top. Um, quite a smart looking vehicle, this is a 2007 model and it's done 61,000 Ks, so Right, we're just going to go and do a quick um, 0 to 100 k's in it. According to what I've seen on the internet, they are rated at 8.6 seconds. Um, but with a full tank of gas and a, passenger and a driver in the car, they actually weigh about close to 2 tonnes, so they're quite a heavy vehicle. Okay, now the remote decides to start working. Here we go. And I'll close it again. Incidentally on the dashboard too, you've got uh, a little button on the side you can press which is a dashboard dimmer lights. So it actually dims the, um, oops, touch the wipers. Make it nice and bright since we're daytime. Uh, they've also got Tiptronic, um, it's in what they call an active Matic 6 speed. Uh, the naturally aspirated ones have a 4 speed auto. Uh, it tells you on the dashboard which gear you're in as well. Right, here we go, 0 to 100 k's. Yeah, so in summary folks, this is a really nice vehicle to drive. Climbing in and out of it, it's not that actually that high, so you don't feel like you're climbing in and out of a, like a truck or anything. Um, they have quite a low uh, disposition, but the seating position once you're driving is a little bit higher than a, than a car. 
Um, quite like the captain's chairs with these uh, armrests that just fold, fold up and down and to get them into whatever position you want. So that's a view from the front looking into the rear of the vehicle. Uh, this one's all got a black interior apart from the hood lining. Um, but yeah, very impressed with it. Um, a bit thirsty on gas around town. Uh, we're getting about 13 litres per 100 k's. Um, haven't done an open road trip in it yet, so uh, still yet to do one of those. So we'll let you know what the fuel figures are like on a on a highway. Cool. Thank you. Bye.